Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Beam Nova brand or electric hot knife cutter for plastics, ropes, fabrics. It'll go to 932 degrees Fahrenheit or 500 degrees Celsius. Has four blades, heavy duty case that you see right here. And in this case, you've got the unit itself, a wire brush instruction booklet, and a nice long generous 120 volt cord and the blades themselves in this case is really nice because it's going to hold everything inside for you keep everything all organized and it has locks on there to hold it in place so here's the unit out of the packaging this has 100 watts of power and as I mentioned the temperature can go up 932 degrees Fahrenheit it'll work continuously and it has a sliding digital control. So inside here, there's electronics, there's a big coil transformer, and that's for cooling right there. So this is power control and a real nice hall center switch in there. That's what turns it on and off. And a clip to hold it. And of course the long cord. And then it has the mounts for the blades on there and you can see it has a uh, socket head on there and the socket heads where we're going to use to uh, close that up and tighten it and it should be inside this package right here so we're going to open this up and check that out so here's the four included blades the nice brass wire brush and the tool to mount these this is a professional quality hot knife rope cutter or plastic cutter and it's efficient in its heat conduction. What's going to happen is the voltage and current is going to go through here and this is going to heat up on the end. These are non-magnetic nickel chromium alloy blades. They get any oxidation or any plastic on them. You can use the wire brush, heat them up and wipe them with a damp cloth also. You've got four different types of blades here for different applications. You got a shovel head. You have a thick flat one. You know, you just pick the one that's going to be for what you're going to do. Now we're going to be showing this on various pieces of plastic and also on wood because I think you could burn wood with this and make nice wood patterns also. So this could be used to cut carpet, PVC pipe, acrylic sheets, synthetic fabric, rope weaving, canvas. What's nice when you cut a rope, we're going to show that the edges are nice and sealed. You don't have to worry about it uh, frizzing up. You can also cut all types of foam with this. So we're going to hook this up and give it a try. So the first blade I'm going to try is this one here. So I just loosen these up and you turn it upside down. That'll cause this to drop so that you can put the blade in and then use the included tool to tighten this down. And it's important to tighten this up because you want a good electrical connection right there. Now we're going to plug this in. So I have it plugged in now. The cord is really nice and long. It's like about six and a half, seven feet long and very flexible. That's really nice. So you have to worry about using an extension cord. So when I push this down, I see a red LED come on right there. You can see. So let's look at the device there is a power control on here now it's the opposite of what you might think when you go forward that is low power they have a little symbol right there when you go towards the handle that is full power so let's just take a look we click this on we get an led right there come on and you see it starts to smoke and let's just look at the tip right there it's out of the range of this right here because it's probably over six seven eight hundred degrees fahrenheit you want to lower the temperature you go towards the tip and that will lower the temperature and you'll actually see the LED blinking because what it's doing now it's pulsing it to lower the pulse width or the temperature so let's do some examples I'm gonna put it on kind of the hot temperature right there just to test it out 
And I'm going to turn it on. Here's a EPO foam. It's used in model airplanes and bumpers of cars. And it just really just goes right through it really nicely. Just like that. Now sometimes you're doing electronic work and you have a specific holder case and you could use this to melt holes very easily or slots for switches. You can see how this is getting red hot the tip. I don't know if the camera's picking that up but it's actually getting red hot. So that's really handy for electronics. And here is styrofoam board you get it at like a dollar store. It has cardboard on the outside so that just goes through it just like butter. Look at that. So quick. Here is a polyethylene sheet. Let's see how it does with that. And just goes right through it to that tip. And again, you could control the power. So if that's too much, you could just cut back by going towards the front of the tip. That'll reduce the power. Now here's a thick piece of cardboard. Let's give that a try. So it's essentially burning the cardboard. And this is a thick piece right here too. Now some people like to uh, do artwork and they have bamboo. And of course, let's see if this is hot enough for bamboo. Let's put it on the hottest setting. All right, look at that. You could actually make a beautiful pattern on your, look at that. So you can burn wood and do patterns and do letters. That's really handy. Now a lot of times you have rope to cut and it's a real pain to do because it just frays on the end. Let's see how it does with rope. And it goes right through it very easily. Then you could take the end right there and just touch it and look what you have that cool off. Then you have the end all tight and nothing is going to pop out of there. And uh, look at that. Totally sealed and waterproof. So very handy for cutting polyethylene ropes. And of course you can do any diameter. It can probably do up to a full inch easily. Here's a real big piece of foam and it's really dense. Kind of a pain in the butt to cut. Let's put it on high again. Let's see how it does. Look at that, it just goes right through it. Just like butter. Look at that. Save you so much time. After you're finished, if you want, you could use the included brass brush and you can clean off anything that's on there. And if you put it on while you're doing that, it'll make it easier for it to clean so that it's ready for the next use. So after testing the Beam Nova brand or electric hot knife, what do I think about it? This is an excellent product. This is the kind of product that you wish you had your whole life while you're doing any kind of hobby. This is the first time I ever saw something like this and I had to buy it because I've been using soldering irons and cutting wood blades. This is so much more efficient with the four blade choices, this excellent holder and the wire brush. This thing works really, really nicely. I'm impressed with it. And as I demonstrated, it cut beautifully all the different foams and even paper and even cutting images into bamboo it worked beautifully. So this is an excellent product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert you to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. There'll be ordering links in the information and comment section. Please use those links if you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.